Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She plays the coy and calculated White House resident staff supervisor Priscilla Owens on BET's hit drama, The Oval. And by adding a beautiful mix of her black girl magic to the series, she's set to become a small screen staple. Let's take a look. And have you seen the list of demands that she gave to Sherry in housekeeping? <laughs> All I can say is D. Va. <laughs> what about him? She didn't leave any requests for him. Well, there you go. Maybe he's not so complicated. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't have a good feeling about these people. <laughs> Please welcome Taja V. Simpson. Oh Thank my gosh. you guys for having me. Yes. yes. Oh. How are you today? Yes. Ecstatic. Girl, because I'm oh here. Yeah, I watch your show. Here. Thank you. Your energy is infectious. <laughs> so I'm excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? The Oval is doing so well. Yes. Extremely yes. well. Yes. You know, Tyler Perry, anything he touched turns to go. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So how did this role come about? And are there any similarities between you and your character, Priscilla Owens? Mm, okay. So I was in Tyler Perry's Boo 2 at Medea's Halloween. Mm -hmm. okay. And so when this role came about, he gave me a call and was like, I got a spot for you. Yes. And when uh, Tyler Perry calls, you say, okay. yes. yes. You say yes. <laughs> yes. You say yes. Didn't yes. know what the role was about. Was like, sure. Um, when I got the scripts and started reading about it, I was like, oh, okay, she's very calculated. Mm -hmm. So I'm very meticulous in that way. Oh, like, yes. I'm the person that gets up, I make my bed every morning. My brain thinks, thinks like a line item spreadsheet. So I'm like calculated in that way. Wow. But as the show unfolds, I'm a little bit different, but you'll have to tune in every week, Wednesdays on BET to see. Well, I certainly do, <laughs> first of all. But before I jump into that, the, the three of us are all Tyloparians. Because yes. we were on the original cast of Meet the Browns, yes. Meet on the soundtrack of Daddy's Little Girl, so we are all, you know, yes. awesome. graduates of Tyler mm. Perry School. Girl yeah. magic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let's, let's get back into the Oval. You know, outside of the Obamas and mm. scandals, you never, you never really see melanin mm. uh, depicting any type of major role in the mm. Oval Office, right. and so. So this series does that. Mm -hmm. And do you think that it's changing the face of how we as African Americans will look at politics? You know, I believe optics of any kind are important, especially when we can see ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. Now, albeit it's a interracial couple and you know, they go through a lot of drama and the fighting and things like that. Yes. So I would hope when we get our another black couple in the White House when White House they're not doing that. Yes. But I do think the optics of it is important. Oh. Yeah. Now, since we're on the topic of melanin, mm -hmm. you recently had an interesting conversation with the queen, babe, Beyonce I girl. Did. And you said that it really impacted your life. Now, mm -hmm. what did she say? Give us the details. We want to be a fly on the wall. So, we're at this Imaginist event, and you see Beyonce, and she's like right there. Right. And I'm a proud member of the Beehive. I don't yes. know about you ladies, but I'm a part of it. Okay. <laughs> so, when I saw her, we walk, I walked up to her, and we started talking, and I let her know that her song about brown girls really impacted my life because even now I still get discriminated against for being dark skinned sometimes. So it just made me feel so much more proud even now to see the optics of it and see all these different variety of different melanin people being so proud. Yes. Like Panther helped, this helps. That kind of optics, as I said before, is very beneficial. And she looked at me and she said, thank you so much for saying that. She said, she got up and gave me a hug. If you've seen the video, it was a very earnest hug. I was super excited about that. <laughs> um, but no, she was like, you know, I'm very proud of that and that's what I want from my children. I want my children mm. to grow up feeling proud being in their own skin. Yes. And I just had to thank yes. her for allowing me to feel that a little bit more. Oh. Well, you, your acting roster is long like Jay-Z's paper. But you're also delving into directing. Mm -hmm. So how does being behind the screen uh, change your judgment and who you choose as mm -hmm. who you want to have as performers? Yeah, great question. So as a director, I read scripts differently. Mm -hmm. So I understand the mindset of a writer now, because okay. I write and direct, so I, I get it. So one thing about my book, per se, is called Cracking the Acting Code. Yes, we mm -hmm. talk about the styles and tones of acting. Yes. We talk about the styles and tones of acting for, for commercials as well as film and television. All that stuff's very different. But as a director, I have now more of a mindset of that, so it helps me tremendously, especially when you're hitting your mark, where to go. I think about continuity, I think about editing. These things in my brain are constantly going now because I have the expertise as a director. What advice would you give to a dark-skinned young lady who's mm -hmm. trying to become an actress and she keeps getting a no? What would you tell her? Well, first of all, start with belief. 
Mm -hmm. What I had to learn is that my confidence when I was really young was like under my shoe. I did not love myself. It wasn't until I was 25 years old that I looked in the mirror and I was like, I accepted me. And it wasn't until I was 30 that I was like, okay, you mm -hmm. need to learn to love yourself. So first I would say start with the believing and loving of yourself. Affirmations were truly, truly mm -hmm. beneficial in my Definitely. life. Mm -hmm. I the in first that. time I looked in the mirror and said, you're beautiful. Yes. And I looked back at myself, I cried. And you are. Wow. Thank you. And you are. But I'd never are. done that before. Yeah. I'd never had that moment. So for a little brown girl, brown girl like me from Lake Charles, Louisiana, wanting to, to pursue this career, you have to know that this is what you want to do. I would say if there's anything else you want to do that you think is going to make you happy, go do that. Yes. Because if this is the one thing you know that will only make you happy as long as you believe in yourself, then you can do it. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah. let me ask you this. So on the oval, are you going to choke? The first daughter, <laughs> because <laughs> I wanted to smack her up a couple of times, and she is actually she is playing her role because yeah, I, want, yes, I want to kill her yeah, until she yes. dies gasping for air. <laughs> so, are you going to poison her food? No. I mean, uh, so just, oh well, <laughs> I would love to answer that and say exactly what I'm going to do, but oh I'll have to say you have to gosh. watch it. But she tries me personally, she like does. as what, the what actor she come, she and as Taja. Oh wow! <laughs> and the last episode, she threw the pillow on my face, and I had to just stand there and take it. Ooh. Because we serve at the pleasure of the White House of the President. That's right. Yes. That's right. You gotta oh, hold that. Okay, yeah. but she makes it real hard. So you are just booked, and <laughs> we're not booked even busy. Yeah, yeah. And we're not yes. even in 2020 yet. So what's next for you? What's on your roster? I have a movie coming out called Lola. Yes, yes. yes. And it's Girl. a boxing movie. Yes. Yes. Oh, she turned them. Yes. 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 <laughs> so I booked this film. I did a short film called Intercept. Okay. We won a bunch of awards for it. Nice. The director saw me in that in a film festival and was like, Oh my God. I want you for this role. And he specifically wanted her to be a brown skinned woman. Yes. Yes. So I had to learn how to box. I didn't know anything. I took months. I had to train. I had to learn. The movie is a coming of age story about a girl trying to find herself. Mm -hmm. She gets sexually assaulted, unfortunately, but oh. that leads her into self defense, which leads her into boxing. And she finds her purpose. She finds confidence and she defeats all of her fears. All right. Well, you embody mm -hmm. all of those Thank things. You. And you might be able to use your boxing yes. in the oval. Yes. Hey, <laughs> hey. you let Gail know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're always yes. welcome yes. here at the circle. I and you guys it. can catch Taja on Tyler Perry's hit drama, The Oval, Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on BET. You can also get a copy of Taja's book, Cracking the Acting Code, wherever fine books are sold.